Bonjour, ne connaissez tuk anin. Hello, everybody. My name is Murray Sinclair, formerly the chair of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada and a recently a retired senator from the Senate of Canada. I wanted to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to speak to you in this uh, virtual reality way uh, and share some of my thoughts about where we are today and where we need to be focused on going as we move forward on this path for truth and reconciliation. Some of you may remember that when the Truth and Reconciliation Commission ended in my final speech to those who were in attendance and those who were watching online, I said that getting to the truth was hard, but getting to reconciliation will be harder. And by that I meant that there would always be resistance, that those who were in positions of power and privilege and influence would be reluctant to give up that power and that influence and the privileged positions that they hold in society, that they would be quite willing to acknowledge the wrongs of the past, but it would not be to the point where they would be prepared to give up what it was that they had gained from those actions of the past. And that was why getting to reconciliation continues to be hard and will continue to be hard for some time to come. I also mentioned that getting to reconciliation will be uh, something that probably wouldn't be achieved in my lifetime, might not even be achieved in the lifetime of my children. But I hope that so long as we are committed, we will be able to see reconciliation achieved within three or four or five generations, certainly in a shorter time frame than it took for this history of oppression, denial, cultural genocide to have taken over the many generations that it existed. But getting to reconciliation will be hard. There's no question of that. But we also must never forget that we are still in our battle for the truth. We are still trying to determine what it is exactly that happened. We know that there are still many things about the children who died in the schools, where they are buried, uh, who they are, when they died, where their families are, what their families want to do, all of that still remains to be uncovered. And there are many other truths as well. The direct connection between residential schools, day schools, the uh, 60s scoop, the child welfare system, the criminal justice system, and the connection to the issue of missing and murdered indigenous women and girls is still an area that requires ongoing work and understanding so that we can have an entire picture that we will leave for this country as we continue on this journey. In order for us to do that, we have to persevere. We have to continue our focused way of, of looking at this history, looking at what it is that the issues are and doing what we can to uncover them. We must teach our children not only how to be good, strong Anishinaabe children and to be true to their traditions, true to their teachings, true to themselves, and true to the uh, teachings that were intended for them to live by when they were placed upon this earth. But we also must assist them to be able to gain that knowledge and gain that strength that they will need in order to continue to uncover the truth of what went on in this history, this terrible, tragic history that permeates us even today. We must work with survivors, survivors of the residential schools, survivors of the 60s scoop, survivors of the justice system, survivors of the day schools, all of those who have gone through this experience and that includes the families of the missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. We must help them to continue to be strong. We must help them not to give up. We must help them to get beyond their despair if we can because they need our help too in this present day and age. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of things that we need to do, but getting to the truth continues to be our greatest single challenge. And we have much in that area that we need to do as well. 
When it comes to, for example, the issue of where the children are buried, who died in the schools and what happened to them in the schools and who they are, all of those continue to exist in church records around the world. We know that some of the Catholic records have been moved to Rome. We know that many of them were moved from the various provinces where the schools were held into Montreal. We know that there are archives that still have not been properly investigated. And I think that the one thing that we need to continue to strive for is to ensure that there is a proper and thorough investigation of that issue. And if that takes a national inquiry in order for that to happen, then that's what we should push for. But we have much that we have to be able to give to our children. Our children need to understand that they are just as valid, in fact, in fact, even more valid than those who came here late, than those who came here after we did, that our previously existing rights and right to be here still needs to be respected and needs to be put in a proper place. And we must never give up on that fight. So in this site where these uh, gatherings are held, Wanaskewan Heritage Park, in this place which is sacred to all of us who have ever visited it and been there and seen the land and understand the history of the land, wherever it is, we need to pay homage to that, but we also need to make our commitment to that work that needs to be done. And I encourage you all to do that and to support each other as you do that and support those young generations who come up behind you so that they will not act out of frustration but act out of a strong and overwhelming desire to get to the truth of this history which we have not yet been able to complete. Miigwech to all of you and bless you all. I wish that I could have been there with you and gathered with you and had a chance to talk with you, but my travel abilities are limited. Uh, someday we'll gather and we'll see each other again. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of your children and your grandchildren and ensure that they understand who we are, who they are, so that they will be able to live a full and proper life. Miigwech.